Like it or not, this video is not going to be viral. But if you are going to watch this video, it is going to help you a lot in your journey as a website owner, as a SEO service provider, or even to manage your own blog. So what we are essentially doing here is that we are deleting a post from one of the blog and moving the post to another blog. Basically the idea is moving those posts which are not very relevant to the niche of the Shout Me Loud because if you know Shout Me Loud is 14 year old blog and in the back in the days we used to publish a lot of tech related articles. Now those tech related articles are very good for Google AdSense and display ads but may not be very you know useful for a person who wants to learn how to grow their brand online or how to grow their blog or YouTube channel online. So now what I'm essentially doing is moving this blog post from one blog to another, like, you know, all the tech posts to Shout Me Tech, which is my tech blog, and then making Shout Me Loud more relevant to the people like you who wants to grow their blog or YouTube channel or podcast. So that way you will have more content related to the topic that you are really interested in. Google also sees those content which are topically related. And overall, it helps in improving the SEO of the website, also improving the bounce rate of the website, average time on the page, and overall, you know, a happy user is what makes a happy blogger. So I'm going to show you exact steps that I take when I'm actually moving a post from one blog to another. And it's not as simple as deleting a post and moving it to another blog. It's not as simple as that. There are many steps which are involved and this video is going to help you learn all of these. You're going to learn about a lot of tricks, which is going to help you a lot. So without further delay, let's go ahead. Let's learn something new. Now, many of you who are not aware of me, I'm Harsh Agarwal. I'm a professional creator from last 14 years. And Shout Me Loud has won numerous awards because of its contribution in the field of blogging, SEO, WordPress. So if you have not been following Shout Me Loud, this is your chance. Do like and subscribe to our channel so that you can learn everything. Now getting back to the topic, this is exactly what we are doing. So we have this blog post called five remarkable tech entrepreneur you must know of. Now it is a fantastic post and you know, it's very useful, but is it a good fit for Shout Me Loud? Maybe not. Now what we have decided is that we'll move this post from Shout Me Loud to Shout Me Tech, which is a technology related blog. And it would be a good fit there because if you are somebody who's interested in technology, you might want to read about this tech entrepreneur because you know, their story is very interesting. So very first thing is to identify the blog post that you want to move. Now there are multiple ways you can do that. First, like you look at the blog post and you see like, hey, this blog post was relevant to my blog like few years back, but now it is no more relevant. What can I do? Well, let's move it to my another blog or let's offer this as a guest post to somebody else. But should we do that? And before we decide that, we also check the blog post traffic. So here is the key. You click on insights. Now inside this feature is coming because of this plugin that I'm using called Monster Insights. So Monster Insights is a Google Analytics plugin which helps you to add Google Analytics codes to your website. At the same time, you can see all the Google Analytics data inside your WordPress dashboard. But this feature, Insight feature, shows me the traffic insight for the last 30 days for any blog post or any page on my website. So in this case, I can see like my page views are, you know, I got about 170 page views. Bounce rate is really high and it makes sense because my blog is not only about technology. And this is the data, which is pretty decent. So now I have to decide like if I'm okay losing this kind of traffic. Now in my case, I'm very much okay losing this kind of traffic because I'm moving this traffic from one block to another. Now there are two, three situation which we'll cover as we move ahead in this video. So that is step one. Now, before I move this blog post, because I'll be deleting this blog post or I'll be doing a 301 redirect from this blog to new place. I also need to check if somebody has copied my content. Because if they have, then I need to first file the DMCA complaint to Google telling them like, you know, somebody has copied my content, please remove that content, the other person content from Google search. So what I will do is like, I'll just simply copy this first unique paragraph and then search that in Google. And here I can see like there is one blogspot blog which has copied it. 
and if we click on repeat the search with the omitted results included i can see that there is another website which has copied my content right so there are like two pages which have copied my content now what i will do is i'll just use my earlier tutorial which i've written or you can just follow this tutorial to report this copied content to google now it can take up to 48 to 72 hours for this copied content to be removed from google now that is step one so step one is first identify the traffic that you are going to lose or how much traffic you know that particular blog post is getting now if that blog post is not getting any traffic you know it's very simple to like move blog from one website to another but if it is getting some traffic then you have to decide if you are okay losing that kind of traffic or not now in this case i'm not monetizing this blog post so it is not adding any value this blog post is not adding value to my current user base so there is no point of keeping it but before moving that i also need to check for copied content a second step which is very important is checking the backlink to this particular blog post because what happens if i'm removing this blog post and if there are some high value backlink to this blog post i'm going to lose all of them which is not very ideal which is not very good situation because what i can do is like if i see like there are a lot of backlinks to this particular blog post i can redirect those traffic to my other blog like where i'm moving this blog to or i can redirect all the backlinks to my home page how i will do that i'll show you in a moment so very first thing i'll do is i'll go to smrush you can use any seo tool that you are using and then you go to backlinks analytics now here just paste the url click on analyze and then according to this there are 113 backlinks to this particular blog post which is pretty crazy right i click on this backlinks and i can see where these backlinks are coming from and let it load now I can see the backlinks are coming from a lot of like low quality pages but then there are like you know some good decent quality backlink from like page with the authority score of 19 and then 10 that's my website then page 36 which are like you know still have some value and I don't want to lose all of them. So what I know that now the backlinks are there so what I would do is I will redirect this post to my other blog like where I'm like moving this new blog post to and how I'm doing that I'll show you exact step by step. Okay, so this part is done. Now what I'll do is I'll move this blog post from one blog to another, right? So this is my shout me take where I've already copied the entire content. I've also copied the SEO data as it is. And what I'll do is I'll just everything looks good and I'll select the right category okay everything looks good and then I will hit the publish button okay so here's the publish button post is live now this is my new URL so now what what is the situation I already have one URL which is on shout me loud and this is the blog post which is on shout me tech so what I will do here is one, I will open this, click on edit post and then I will delete this post. Okay. So click on move to trash. The post will be deleted. Okay. So this will take few seconds. All right. The post has been deleted. Now I'm using Yoast SEO premium plugin for the SEO optimization of WordPress. You can use, you know, your redirection plugin or whatever you like. What I can do is it gives me option to redirect it to another URL. Now I can do it right away. If I do that right away, what will happen is my blog post will remain indexed in Google search and all the traffic will redirect to my, you know, other blog, which is okay if I want to preserve the traffic. But in my, in this situation, what I really want is I want this blog post to go away from my web index also. So I will change it to make it serve a 410 content deleted header. So basically that means that's telling Google that like, hey, this blog post is gone from my website. Basically it's giving 410 header, but that's not done yet. What we need to do is we need to copy the URL. We need to go to Google search console, Google search console. I'm pretty sure you, many of you are aware of here, select your website, go to removals. Click on new request and here paste your URL and then click on next, click on submit request. Now practically this will take one to four hours for Google to automatically remove this post 
from Google search. So if we actually go to Google search, we can see this post is indexed, but after a few hours, this post will be removed and we will see something like temporarily removed. Basically what Google does is like when you delete a blog post, you instead of like keeping it as it is, you can use this URL removal tool to tell Google that like, hey, I have removed this blog post and please remove it from the web index and Google comply with this and they remove the URL from web index for six months. And after six months, they crawl again. And if they find, you know, that URL, they might index it again. And you have to repeat this process, which is kind of tedious. But if they crawl the page and they see like it is giving, you know, 404 or 410 URL header, then they might not index it. That's how it works. So what we will do here is now this post has been removed. Now this will take few hours for this to be removed. Once those few hours are done, and the status has been updated to temporarily removed. What I will do is, so this is the post. Let me duplicate it. Okay, this page does not seems to exist. So I'll click on create redirect. Again, this feature is coming because of I'm using Yoast SEO. But if you are not using Yoast SEO premium, you can use this plugin called redirection. And what redirection does is, I'll just show you in a moment. You can always, go to tools and redirection and manually redirect page to anywhere you like. Now we'll go back to one very important factor that we talked about. Now, if you want to preserve the backlinks and you think like, you know, Hey, this backlink is still relevant to my website. You can basically, this is your source URL and you can add your target URL as your homepage. This is one thing that you can do. But in this case, since I'm moving the post to, you know, my other website, I want the, all the backlink juice to be passed to my other website. And I, instead of using this, I'll be redirecting my URL to this. And this redirection would be 301 redirection. 301 redirection means it will pass on all the link juice from one page to another. Now, you can use this strategy in multiple ways. Now, if you don't have any other blog or you don't want to create another blog, what you can do is you can partner with any other blogger, tell them like, hey, what? listen, I am giving you a very high quality blog post because it's not relevant to my blog, but it is relevant to your blog and it is going to drive traffic to you. I will also pass on the link juice if you have any to your blog. Now, uh, what I want from you is like, you know, give me one or two backlink from one of your another blog posts. So that ways you are basically, you know, helping another blogger and another blogger is also helping you. Now this strategy you can use to improve the overall content quality and the topical relation of the content on your blog. So these are the steps that I usually follow when I am moving a blog from one blog to another. And there is one more step. Now this is a little advanced, but let me show you. This is the URL. What I'll do is, so I use this called WP link status. Now this plugin is not available. It's an old plugin, which is sad, but you can use broken link checker plugin. So I simply search this post and I can see that there are like two articles within my blog. I have linked to this particular blog post from two articles. What I can do is I can simply change this to edit URL and I can change it to this particular blog post with one simple click. But what one, this one, I'll let go of this one. And then this one I'll update. And this also made me realize there is another similar blog post, 15 popular internet companies, which is not very much relevant to shout me loud. Now I will be doing the same thing, which I did for this old blog post, moved it to my another blog to tech blog. Similarly, this blog content is also related to technology and may not be the best fit for shout me loud. I'll repeat the same process for my blog. Now you can use this process for yourself or you can follow these steps and let your SEO team take care of it or your content team take care of it. But these are the things that you should be doing once in a while to improve the overall quality and relevance of your blog because you also have to think what is the purpose of my website it is to help your users at the same time the byproduct is that your blog or your website analytics should also improve like your bounce rate should go down 
your average time on page should improve your traffic should improve and ultimately this all should lead to your ultimate goal of growing your empire and that could be in the form of your blog popularity in the form of money in the form of you reaching new heights these are the some steps that i follow i'll leave the link of most of the thing in the description you can find stuff there but if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section and if you find this video useful you can like and subscribe to our channel it would help us to grow with that i will see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh